And you got summer vibes going on right now. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am at Jackson Township, New Jersey. And today I'm visiting Six Flags Great Adventure. This is yet another Six Flags park that I have been to. I've been to like uh, six or seven others. First time here. I'm gonna try to show you a map. I'm sure there's one up in this area. And then I'm gonna do a full tour. Get you the layout of this park. Very, very cool. Uh, they have, uh, I think, 14 roller coasters here, so that's gonna be an amazing day. I'm looking forward to it. Beautiful weather, so let's get started. All right, here is the map. We're down Main Street. And it looks like I'm gonna go to the left first, do Boardwalk, Golden Kingdom, and work my way around clockwise. Lots to see, lots to do. They said you got lots of great coasters here. Excited to be here. I directly passed security check in our locker locations. All right, just so you know, all Six Flags parks are cash free. You can't convert your cash to a card to use in a park. All right, directly past the entry gate, you get guest relations and package pickup and stroller rentals. Main Street Market is our gift shop they got right here in the front. You got sweet cakes and cones. It's their mini board. Got their drinks. And I have my Six Flags member drink bottle so I don't pay for any beverages. I'm also a Diamond member and I have the food program on my pass. So no price to park, no pricing for entry, and I get three meals or two meals and a snack. Directly like to the left of that, we got sweet treats. So is there a mini board? Sorry about the reflection. Hopefully you can see everything. And directly next to that, you got the last drop, which is another souvenir shop. Uh, we got this nice statue. Directly opposite that, you got Six Flags Universe. This is like, I'm guessing their main gift shop because it's the largest one. Just to the right of that, you got the m, &M Emporium. Or Emporium. And around the corner for that is Coaster Candy. These two are interconnected. This is all of the yummy stuff they got. Tons of bag candies. Oh wow, I remember these candy dots. More bag candies. And of course you got lots of M&Ms and even Starbursts and Skittles. Oh yeah, I love this fountain. All right, just to the left in the back of the fountain, you got the Crystal Brew House. It's their menu. Regular beverages, and then beer and more. And just to the left of that, you got Six Flags Funnel Cake Factory. Funnel cakes they got, and soft serve ice cream, cafe snacks. And directly across the way, you got Main Street Snacks. This is their menu board they got. Alright, so from the fountain, the Funnel Cake Factory, we're gonna head to the left. Alright, directly next to the Funnel Cake Factory, you got Sugar Shack. Now you see on all these menu boards, the S or the M. S is for snack, M is for meal. So you got Dippin' Dots. You still have to get Houdini's Great Escape. All right, so this got off Houdini's Great Escape. That was very, very interesting. You summon Houdini's spirit back from the dead, and you go into this big room with these long benches, and your uh, lap bar comes down, and the illusion is that you spin, that the whole room spins. So it's, it's really, really cool, really interesting. Not scary at all. 
All right, just to the right of Houdini's Great Escape, you got the carousel. Good old classic ride. And directly to the right of that, you got Yum Yum Cafe. This is very decorative. All right, you got Yummy Baskets. You see the M for meal. More yummy. Even more yummy. And then of course you got the beverages. Just to the left of Yummy Cafe, you got teacups. All right, good old traditional teacups. You spin your teacup, it's gonna go faster. However, I do not recommend going on the teacups after you ate at the Yummy Cafe because you will be wasting your money because you'll be covered in puke probably. All right, going past this, you got some games of chance. Got the boardwalk. Got Daredevil Dive. Daredevil Dive is a sky coaster. So they are raised up. Nice and high. See the person right there. There we go. Oh, I hope you get. And you free fly. So this is an upcharge, not included with regular admission. So showing you all the stuff they got here. In the boardwalk area. Just like you're at a carnival. You got boardwalk steak and fries. Menu board. This is definitely a place to win a prize because this is where looks like most of the games of chance are located. We got Rita's Ice Custard Happiness. That's what they've got available. At the left of that, you got the Garden State Grill. A turnpike Burger. And Jersey Favorites. And to the left of those two things, you got flags, another gift shop. <laughs> you got Wacky Wavy Way. Look at that. Al Harrison would be impressed. Wacky Wavy and Flintable Two Men. Man, oh man. That is something. Look at him dancing. Woo! I right, got the Boardwalk Game Center. Just as the name suggests, you got a big arcade. All right, so show you the map. I'm right here in Fantasy Forest right now. I'm gonna go down and continue with Boardwalk. Down here to these coasters. If we go over to Golden Kingdom, we got Attitudes Gift Shop. All right, so I backtracked just a little bit because evidently I I should have finished the boardwalk area first. Just the left of Garden State Grill, you got Funnel Cake Factory. So there are lots and lots of food choices up in the front of the park. Left of that, you got Mardi Gras Bar. The beverages. Got beer and braided pretzel combo. Left of that, you got Empanada Guy. Mm 
Love the value guy, Boardwalk Food Court. That's what they've got. They build your own salad. Got chopsticks. Entrees. Got sides and beverages. And you got totally kicking chicken and bonus wings. Got entrees and fries. Then of course beverages. So for boardwalk steak and fries, you got even more games of chance. Because I do see several people walking around with these great big bears and other large stuffed items. That's all well and good if you're going to be leaving. I don't recommend you do this early on if you're going to spend the day here because then you got to lug that big giant stuffed animal with you. And you can see all the games of chance and the food court and other eateries right over here. This is definitely called the Twister. I do not see a whole lot of people here on this ride. And you'll see why in just a moment. See, they are upside down now. There you go. That's why there's not many people on that. This would totally make me throw up. Look at that. Three people on this thing. Three brave souls. <laughs> Regular cross, now you got a slingshot. So you're strapped into these seats. The tension is taken up and you shoot up. Up in three, two. Here we go. Bouncy, bouncy. All right, just to the left of Twister, you got Parachute Training Center. There you go, you're putting your parachute ride, and you go all the way up. There we go. And then you drop. Well, they got Coca-Cola refresh stations all throughout. All right, we got the Green Lantern roller coaster. This is this guy. That says green and black coaster right here. That's this is a standing coaster. This is a fun ride. But boy, you really feel it, standing up. You want to have your head back, or if you can hold it as steady as possible, otherwise you're going to box your ears. Go to your right. When the train comes in, please stop, please. Thanks to your left hand, we're going to refresh your day at Six Flags. This definitely made me a little bit dizzy. Impressive amount of track on this coaster. All right, next to Green Lanterns, you got Chickies. This is their menu board. You got meal deals also. All right, next up, you got Superman Ultimate Flight. This is to the left of the Green Lantern roller coaster. You see some of the villains. You got Brainiac. You got Doomsday. Free. Lex Luthor. Your need for There's Lois Lane. She's not a villain. Alright, so Superman is a flying coaster, as you would expect. It's 
when you're loaded, it gets ready, it pushes back so you're in the flight position. Get to be upside down at certain ports of it, which is pretty strange feeling. Maxima, Menelo. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this because I'm gonna get it wrong. Got the Parasite. Got Steel. Got Superboy. Supergirl. And then of course Superman. You really feel it in your stomach. But other than that, it's a very fast ride and uh, very smooth. Get the sensation of flying, basically. All right, to the left of Superman Ultimate Flight Roller Coaster Restroom locations. Yeah. All right, so opposite parachute, you got Superman Ultimate Flight down there. You got the Great American Road Race. All right, Great American Road Race. You got traditional go karts. Go around the track. All right, so I backtracked to this area with attitudes. So next area we're going to do is the Golden Kingdom Adventure Outpost. Our restroom is just to the right. So of course this area is like the Old West. Look at the Wicked Saloon. Got all adult beverages. All right, so let's try the map again. I am right here, okay? So I'm gonna go down to the Golden Kingdom at Plaza de Carnival. Got King Nika and El Toro roller coasters. First we got a Primo's Pizzeria. That's what they've got. They got another totally kicking chicken, boneless wings location. Also another funnel cake factory. So we're gonna be heading to the left now. Got Wild Walkway. All right over here by Wild Walkway, the animals are out now. It's got California sea lion. See them swimming in the water. All right, got cheetah. See the cheetah underneath the little little boards. Get out of the heat. Very nice. Got a mulligan cockatoo. Yeah. So as you can see, they use that beak as a third appendage to climb and get around. Diamond's actually not flighted, so that's how he does move around all the time. Parrots actually have to be taught how to fly, and Diamond was not at his previous household, so he doesn't have the muscles developed for it in his wings. Got a small open air gift shop. Good luck. Continued on the path. Then we got restroom locations. All right, we got King Daka. All right, so this is this is King Naka. Extremely, extremely fast ride. And you do not allow you to bring anything with you. No keys, no cell phones, no hats, no glasses. So you got to put everything in a locker. Single use lockers are two bucks. Yeah, 
That was me not that long ago. Good luck, my brother. All right, Toretta King to call you guys, Zoom and Jaro, Drop of Doom. All right, you can see the top of King Naka. When you see these three red towers in the center, that's the ride that I'm in line for. Just got off the drop tower. It's 408 feet in the air. You get a fantastic view of the park and it's over in seconds. So that was a lot of fun. All right, so the pathway to King Naka and the drop tower is a dead end. So now I'm backtracking. All right, so Wild Walkway leaves the King Naka and the drop tower. So now I'm heading over this way. So go through Plaza de Carnival. Got Tango. All right, so this basically spins. It goes back and forth on the track. They got the La Quintina. You can see all the adult beverages. Macho nachos and burritos. There's entrees. Got snacks. And of course you got the beverages. Got the El Mercado, El Toro merchandise. This is a little small open air gift shop. And Fiesta games, a bunch of claw machines. All right, El Toro. That means bull. Right, from this vantage point, you get a great view of the track for El Toro, the wooden roller coaster. Man, that is a heck of a first drop right there. See one of the coasters going right now. Very much so looking forward to this ride. Woo! All right, I just got off of El Toro and that was the fastest traditional wooden roller coaster I think I've ever been on. That was intense, very fast, I, I loved it. Really, really good ride. Of course I got front row. You have to put all your stuff in a locker. They do not allow you to have everything, no cell phones, no keys, no wallet. You can't have anything with you. All right, so the park closes at 9 p.m. It's 8 p.m. now because I got here late. I did two zoos earlier this morning, so I didn't get here until around five o'clock because I went to Hurricane Harbor Water Park, enjoyed the water park for a while. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow for a full day, ride the rest of the rides and continue to tour. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so I am back for a full day. Gonna continue on with the tour. So I'm gonna go back to the area that I left off at last night and continue to show you everything. All right, so my tour ended here last night on El Toro. This path down here, I showed you the animals. Did that. So now, we're gonna head this way. All right, we're at the Frontier Adventures. A fantastic view of El Toro, or the bull. Right, we got sawmill snacks. Mr. Menu. First ride we come to in this area is Sawmill Log Flume. Good old traditional log flume. Ride 
tying your logs. Got a pretty good chance of getting splashed, but not totally soaked. There's several drops. Got Best of the West Grill and Saloon. Got to go over these, you know, over the steps. Goes right over the log flume. All right, looks like Best of the West is not open right now. Our next day, you got Runaway Mine Train. You see the track right here. There's also one end of the sky ride. And also next to the log flume, you got Safari VIP tours. This is an additional charge. It's $29.99. It's our adventure. You ride in these military looking vehicles. Go off-roading to see the animals. Got Safari Outpost, small open air gift shop. We continue down the pathway. Our restroom locations. There you go. That's Runaway Mine Train. It is a bit rough. Typically, Mine Train rides are. There's an end of the path. You come to Medusa. It's a floorless coaster. Extremely smooth. So it was actually the last roller coaster I rode today. So I went on the rest of the roller coasters I missed yesterday before continuing on with my tour. So yeah, extremely smooth. The Q line gives you the story on the lost town of Medusa. We've got chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four. First chapter six. Yeah, you got quite a few inversions. Really good track layout. So as I was saying, all major coasters have lockers. You cannot bring any loose articles, not even in your pocket, no cell phones, no keys, no wallets, no anything that's gonna fall out. I think I take a ride on the Sky Ride one here. All right, on the Sky Ride. We can get a nice aerial view of the park since I can't film on any of the rides. The park has an impressive variety of rides and some fantastic roller coasters. Oh, lovely breeze up here too.
the Sky Coaster and Slingshot next to it. Entry Plaza. So with the safari park added to the acreage of the theme park, this is the second largest theme park in the world, right behind Disney's Animal Kingdom in Orlando, Florida. You do have to get off the ride at this end, but I will get back in line and ride it back across so I can continue on my tour. More and more parks are getting rid of their sky rides. It's nice to see a park with sky rides still here. All right, so I'm back over here our Frontier Adventures, backtrack just a little bit. Just right next to that, you got Bugs Bunny National Park. That's the area I'm gonna show you next. Really? You got Bugs Bunny so Camp good. Carousel. We got a little mini carousel. With the Looney Tunes characters on the side. We got Daffy Duck Hot Air Balloons. And as it goes all the way up, and you can spin the baskets. Just the faster you spin, the faster you're gonna go. You got Foghorn Leghorn Stagecoach Express. Oh, this is cute. You can ride on the wagon or on the horses. It falls around on the on the track. Got Looney Tunes Camp Kitchen, which doesn't look like it's even used anymore. Got Porky Pig Camp Wagons. Got Wiley Coyote Canyon Blaster. So you got this little kid-sized Himalayan type ride. Got the Roadrunner up there. Got a Bugs Bunny Ranger Pilots. The kids ride in their planes. Control your height with the joystick. Got Bugs Bunny National Park a Ranger Station. Alright, that's all folks. So yeah, this is a very small children's ride area. This is one of two children's ride areas in the park. All right, so this is the other entrance to Bugs Bunny National Park. So I'm heading back to this area here that I showed you last night. With all the inflatable tube man all dancing. 
This is also for the the summer event they have going on. So back this way is the boardwalk area. You see these guys, game center. So now I'm gonna head back this way. So showing the map. I'm right here in Fantasy Forest. You head back to a lakefront area. In Adventure Alley. Showing the lake, it looks at one point they have some sort of show back here. Maybe it's a fireworks barge, I'm not really sure. As there's no signage here stating what this used to be. Got some nice Canadian geese here enjoying Six Flags Great Adventure today. Not sure if these guys are allowed on any rides. See right down here is the main entrance. Got that Villains Cafe. Got some gluten-free stuff here also. All right, we got the Joker. So these cars are by weight. So depending how much weight you have is gonna depend on how many rotations you get. When I rode this, I had a grand total of one full rotation, that was it. So I was a little bummed out. See, some people are actually spinning pretty good. Still a fun ride, very short. Yeah, very, very quick ride. That looks like a baby ride. All right, just to the right of the Joker, you got Harley Quinn a Crazy Train. This is sort of like a junior coaster. You get to go on two, two rides. Across now you got restroom locations. Right, so showing you the map. I'm up in Adventure Alley right now. See so at the top part. Right up here, by Harley Quinn. I'm working my way over to Junior Thrill Seekers, and Movie Town, and uh, Pine Barrens, and Metropolis. All right, see Harley Quinn, just to the right of that. We got Buccaneer. Yeah, so Buccaneer is a pirate ship. He goes back and forth. Goes it pretty high, but it does not fully rotate. Basically back and forth to get enough to get up higher. Get some good height, sing on the end seats. Right across that, you got Swashbuckler. This is sort of a gravity ride. You get held back in your seat. Then it goes up. But you are firmly held in place by the centrifugal force of the ride. Looks like fun. So if you throw up on this, this is gonna come right back and hit you in the face. I know it's gross, but reality. Got Air Jumbo. This is a flying elephant. Not to be confused with the Dumbo ride at the Disney parks. Got a nice fountain here. See the time there, about 3.34 p.m. All right, right next to this little fountain, you got the Jolly Roger. Nice pirate theming.
Yeah, this thing rotates really, really, really fast. Get some uh, good speed on this. All right, just to the right of the Jolly Roger, you got chopsticks, fresh Asian cuisine. Those are entrees. Sides. And of course, all the eateries have their drinks. So this is the second station for the the Skyway. Did have to get off and wait in line again to take it back the other side of the park. There we go. We got the Skyway. So this is the other station. This is where I came to. Just to the right of that, you got this ominous looking place. It's called Skull Mountain. So yeah, the is really cool on this. There we go, Skull Mountain. And that's the theming right now. So this is an indoor roller coaster. It's usually dark, but they do have the 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 six remix right now for the summer event that they have going on. Now, this is a fairly smaller ride. However, when I rode this, the lap bar that comes down, it's a big cushion orange. It came down and it squished my stomach. It made me like really, really nauseous. So I had to kind of force myself up to, to get the, the lap bar down a little bit lower off my stomach. And this nice waterfall looks very refreshing. All right, to so this to the right of Skull Mountain, you got Junior Thrill Seekers. They got Bugaboo. So yeah, this is your second children's area. The Raja's rickshaws. See so Raja's rickshaws. They'll see a Junior Scrambler. Got Oasis snacks. Does not appear this is open today. We got Air Safari. The kids control the height with their joystick. So we got a new ride coming, Barnstormer. Now we got Sky Zuma. This is similar to one of the other rides that I showed you earlier. This one just rotates. We've got a treetop hopper. And it just goes up and it bounces. Not really a drop tower. It is sort of a little kitty version. Uh, they got the little devil coaster. So yeah, this is a junior coaster. It's a perfect starter coaster for the little ones. Pretty sure this goes around twice. Or sometimes three times. Alright, so I backtracked to Skull Mountain. That's the Junior Thrill Seeker area. So now I'm heading this direction. We got a Primo's Pizzeria. Just left of that, you got a fat burger. I've eaten here before, not at this place, but got a fat burger near my home. Got a fill the thrill Coca-Cola station. And we got Nitro. This is my first roller coaster of the day. And this was fantastic. Yeah, the first drop on that is phenomenal. All right across the Nitro, you got Pine Barrels Beer Garden. The adults gotta get their fix. They also have a dip and dots and funnel cake factory location. 
All right, so right behind Beer Garden is where we're gonna head to next. All right, we got the Jersey Devil Coaster. This was my second coaster of the day. It's a single rail. This is my first single rail coaster I've ever been on. I got front row and immediately after that I got back row. Fantastic ride. It's very strange being on a single rail. Just to the right of the loading area, you got restroom locations. It's so back on the main path, you got Jersey Devil Barbecue. You also have mixed drinks and craft brews. Be more of this track for Nitro. Nitro was one of my favorite rides in the park. So it's very hard to show you much more of the track because it's kind of hidden behind all the trees. But Nitro is a fantastic coaster. So if you don't opt to pay for the Flash Pass, you do have single rider lines in certain coasters here. And sometimes it pays off to go on single rider. All right, directly across there, you got Congo Rapids. Yeah, if you're in a traditional River Rapids raft. Got a very, very good chance of getting wet on this. There are some rides like this at different parks. I've gotten off there completely drenched. And other times I've gotten off there without a single drop of water hitting me. This is a good way to cool off on a hot day. You don't mind your shoes getting all wet. All right, so to continue the tour, you're gonna backtrack, because this is also a basically dead end area. So I backtrack back by Primo's and Fat Burger. So I head here to the left now. Studio 28 Arcade. It's another large indoor arcade game room. Left of the game room is restroom locations. All right, so showing the map again. Jersey Junior Thrill Seekers. I was over by Pine Barrens, and now I'm entering Movie Town and Metropolis. All right, Gotham City Gift Shop. Just as the name suggests. We have all the different superheroes and DC comic characters. Across that you got Batman the Ride. Got this really cool looking Batmobile. This is a suspension coaster. I've been on many different variations of Batman the Ride at different Six Flags parks. I got front row, left side.
Coasters inside this building here. So right across from Batman the Ride, and next to the gift shop, you got the Dark Knight Coaster. So Dark Knight Coaster is a wild mouse that's in total darkness. Only good thing about it is it's air conditioned inside, so it does feel good in there. But it's a wild mouse coaster, so nothing really special or scary about it other than being in the dark. So the whole building is themed after Gotham City Rail. You got a Cassidy at Quesadillas. You got beer and more. More next day, you got Mama Flora's Grill. Here's your menu. This building here is one of their arenas that they have, whole different events. Our Dennis Pathy got Wonder Woman Lasso of Truth. This is a rotating pendulum ride. And it's also the world's tallest rotating pendulum ride. So this has to go back and forth multiple times to get enough momentum. Eventually it makes a full rotation. Been on a few pendulum rides similar to this at other parks, but it didn't rotate all the way around. I was wrong, it does not rotate all the way around. I thought it did. Still looks fun. Who is Wonder Woman? And what does Wonder Woman stand for? What are Wonder Woman's abilities? Well, where is Wonder Woman now? We're gonna go across the Metro Narrows Bridge to continue. Got Metro Grill. We got a restroom location over here. We got Justice League Battle for Metropolis. It's an indoor dark ride. You shoot at targets. Try and stop the Joker on this at multiple different Six Flags properties. Pretty sure the majority of them have this type of ride now. Right across now you got Cyborg Cyber Spin. Wow. I've never seen this type of ride at another Six Flags parks before. Wow. Oh wow. Man, you're moving a bunch of different axes right there. Man, oh man. This move's kind of slow. All right, so continue on, I'm going past Cyborg, Cyber Spin, and Battle for Metropolis. Gonna okay, follow this pathway down this way. Down this way is the main entrance area. So I'm heading over here to the right. You got a refill station here. 
Restroom location just to the right. All right, got Skyscreamer. Now, I've been on Skyscreamers at several other Six Flags parks. When I was younger, this would have scared the you-know-what out of me. But I've conquered my fears. And you get a fantastic view of the park from up there. It's a pretty fun ride. You get a wonderful breeze up there also. Got the Sky Bar. The next day, you got the big wheel. Big old Jumbo Ferris wheel. This ride's not open today. It says temporarily closed. I'm not sure if it'll be open later or not. All right, to the right of that, you got Mama Flora's Cucciana, Italian restaurant. Beverages. Got a dip and dots. This fancy building got Granny's chicken. It's right out front. A rotisserie chicken. Got Granny's platters and meals. Salads and more. Sides and desserts. And they got their beverages. Oh, we got Movie Town. Just in right at Granny's Chicken, you got Deja Vu. Got a good old classic scrambler. There we go. Can't go wrong with a scrambler. All right, just to the left at Granny's Chicken, you got Fender Benders. Just good old classic bumper cars. Fun, fun, fun. on the other drivers before you leave the park. Right, I'm going to go through the whirly way. It gets me back to the entrance area. Got pass holder services right here. Candy apples. Yeah. Alright, so I'm back at the main area. Got a Johnny Rockets. The original hamburger. Rocket meals. And of course drinks. To everybody in the back, the Johnny Rockets. <laughs> Bye. Got under the sun. All the different umbrellas. An eye popping canopy. You have a Primo's Pizzeria location. Right next to that, they got the Ale House, craft beer, and wine. From here, we got my Six Flags photos. So if you got ride photos, this is where you would go to get them. And we got a hat store head of the line because I'm wearing my Six Flags hat. Yeah, Petunia the pig up here. Hi. How are you? <laughs> so yep, I'm back at the front. All right, everybody, that is going to conclude my tour of Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson Township in New Jersey. Fantastic park, great array of roller coasters, some unique flat rides that I've never seen before at another park. So I've had a great time here the last several days. I did the water park and I did the, the safari drive through several days ago. So leave some comments down below what your favorite ride was that I showed you. Something that you would absolutely love to go on or maybe too scared to go on. 
Heck, there was a few rides that I would never go on. And I am an adrenaline junkie. So if you like stuff like this, I go to theme parks, zoos, aquariums all over the country. So join my channel. Uh, comment suggestions, anything like that. I try to answer everybody's comments or questions within a few days. Upload new videos every Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.